Hey, what's going on today for this video? I'm gonna be open something a little bit older. I'm gonna be cracking open a 2005 Top Series 2. This is a retail box, not a hobby box. It is a retail box. So, you know, odds of getting anything huge are a little bit less, but really not banking on anything huge. I'd like it, not counting on it though. But I am looking for Justin Verlander, the Justin Verlander rookie card. His 2005 Top Series 2, it's the Justin Ver it does not have the rookie card logo on it. That came later, but this says draft pick across the top. So still looking for it, looking for the Justin Verlander rookie card. Let's get into this box. Really excited about this. I have had, I ordered a couple of these off of the, actually it's been, over a year ago, Baseball Card Exchange had some of these on their website, and they were a pretty reasonable price. So I went ahead and picked up. I think I think I got them for like seventy-five dollars a box or something like that. You can see it's got the stickers on there, original sticker, dollar ninety-nine a pack. So that's what we are looking for: Justin Verlander rookie card. You can see the pack design here got Barry Bonds Barry Bonds base cards exclusive autographs relics so you never know I mean there's a chance of pulling a Bonds out of here chance of pulling a lot of different things out of here because Topps flagship you always have the potential to pull something amazing and we start off with a team card and wouldn't it be something we could pull a Verlander rookie gold out of here that would just be Simply amazing. So we're going to start off with, check that out. Could that be a potential World Series preview right there? Maybe that is a sign of things to come. Dodgers and Yankees team cards, followed by a Diamondbacks team card, followed by a Blue Jays team card, followed by a Marlins team card. Holy cow. Followed by a Milwaukee Brewers team card. That, my friends, that is a dream come true. Look at all those team cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Half of the pack is team cards. And there we go. There's our first uh, Barry Bonds. 2004 National League MVP card. Pretty cool. We got a little contest here. CC Sabathia. Pretty cool design. Very similar to 2000... Uh, Four tops where they had across the top you know I think 2004 tops had the team name across the top they got the player name and check out the back nice picture on the back some stats a little right up at the bottom of uh, Paul LaDuca there so we got us a Barry Bonds MVP out of the first pack still do have a chance of relics autos things like that out of here just not as good we got a looks like we've got ourselves a gold card in this pack what do we got here Ryan Klesko Casey Kochman, Doug Mankiewicz and there's the Barry Bonds base right there so Barry Bonds all the rage another team card there I flip it over here and see Troy Percival got an Eric Chavez and our gold is so gold world series card red sox win in the world series in 2004 the curse is broken and they beat my st louis cardinals and broke their curse broke the curse of the bambino number 319 out of 2005 so world series red sox winning it's a pretty nice card <clears throat> Pretty nice card. We'll set bonds up here too for now. We'll put both bonds. We'll put them right next to each other there. So we'll get into the next pack here. Who knows? Maybe we can find a relic out of here. That'd be something. Pull a Barry Bonds autograph out of here, wouldn't it? That would be actually quite shocking. Is that the is Jose Lima? Got an insert of some sort in here. Chris Capuano. And our first insert is one of the Barry Bonds Chasing History Home Run History cards. 
So there is one for every career home run that that Bonds had. Kevin Apier. There's Bernie Williams. <clears throat> Our next pack here. That'd be so sweet to find the Verlander gold. There's Chris Benson. There's a draft pick here of Ryan Garko. That's what the Verlander will say. 2005, first year, and it'll say draft pick at the top. It's a very similar photo. There's Tino Martinez. It's a nice one. It's a very similar photo to his, the one with the rookie logo on it. There's another Bonds home run history. 156 in his Pittsburgh Pirates uniform there. So we're going to see lots of Bonds if you're a Bonds fan. There's sweet Dontrell Willis, the D-Train. There is a very nice uh, second year Yachty. Yachty's, of course, Yachty's first year. His rookie was 2004, so a very nice uh, first year Yachty or Molina. <clears throat> and we've got another gold coming up. Get rid of the contest card over here. I'd be so stoked to pull the Verlander Gold Rookie out of here. That would be so cool. Rocco Baldelli. A checklist. Checklists are so exciting. There's Rafael Palmero. That's a cool looking card here. Mark Ellis with the American flag in the background. We have a sporting news uh, of uh, Chris Carpenter. And our gold, it's not Verlander, but it is Tomas Perez. Tomas Perez gold, number 749 out of 2005. So we'll just put all the golds up there. Good time back in 2005 opening retail packs and just pulling inserts and golds like crazy out of there. Landon Powell didn't turn out to be much of anything. And there's a not too bad a one right there. There's a Matt Kane prospect card. It's actually a pretty good one. Not too horrible. Cesar is Turris. And we've got some more team cards coming up. Nope, just one. That's that's a good sign. How about a draft pick here of Wes Swackhamer for the Cardinals. Wes Swackhamer. He's going to get put up here just because that is one heck of a sweet name. Wes Swackhamer. I'm a, I'm a Cardinals fan, and I... I've been to many Cardinals games and live not too far away from St. Louis. And I can honestly say that I have do not have any recollection at all of Wes Swackhamer. So what do we got here? We got the Kings of Swing. We got Lance Berkman and Miguel Tejada. We got something weird coming up here. This is upside down. Postseason highlights. And it's, well, I'm not sure why it's upside down. Kurt Schilling. Not sure why that's upside down, but I don't think it's not any sort of parallel. It's not numbered or anything, but pretty neat one. And then the Kings of Swing here, number 694. So not a not an insert or anything, but still pretty neat looking card. Grady Sizemore. Ray Durham. There's a nice Chipper Jones take that. That's a pretty cool one. And we've got a gold cup here of Aaron Miles. Aaron Miles was a, was a decent player. He played on the Cardinals for several years. But not too bad of a too bad of a player at all. Alright, we got something blue coming up here. Not sure what that is. Let's, let's check it out. More team cards. At least now the team cards, I don't know. They're they're okay, I guess, but they're they're not my you know, not a big fan of team cards in general, but check that out. Do you oh boy. <laughs> I'm checking this out and seeing the insert and then we got what we're looking for. Roberto Alomar and the Tampa Bay Rays 
And the next card, there it is, folks. There we go. 2005 first year draft pick, Mr. Justin Verlander, future Hall of Famer. I mean, no doubter. No doubter that he's a future Hall of Famer. There's, I mean, is there any question, really? There can't be. We're going to put him right over here. We're going to put him front and center. He's going to cover up the Bonds. I don't really care. He's going to cover up Bonds. We've got a Vladimir Ballantin. We've got a J.D. Drew on the Dodgers. You got Bobby Crosby and what is this here? Hit Parade, Raphael Palmero, and check that out. That is a very, very cool looking insert. Hit Parade, RBIs, Raphael Palmero. With the holographic background there. Active career leader in RBI, right behind, right behind Barry Bonds. So we're gonna put him over here. I only grabbed a couple stands. I don't know if that's something I want to try. I'll put my cards up on stands. Make them easier to go through at the end. But that's uh, pretty cool. We still got lots of packs left to go. And uh, we hit the Verlander. We'll check out the back of that one. It's got the same picture as on the front, but there we go. Justin Verlander, rookie card. First year. That is a very nice looking card. Detroit Tigers. Pretty awesome. Maybe we can get another one. We do have another gold in here. It's Troy Gloss. <clears throat> Here's the, the gambler, Kenny Rogers. And we have... It is a draft pick. We have a gold draft pick. Very nice. Look at that. Joe Maurer. Zach Greinke. Close to his rookie year. I was going to say, that's, I know that's close to Zach Greinke's rookie. I don't think it is, but that's very close. That's a nice one. There's very nice Kerry Wood, Jake Peavy, and let's check out this draft pick. Who we got here? Let's see. Let's see some blue. Oh, I see yellow up there. It's not going to be Verlander. Ryan Webb. So a Ryan Webb gold. Draft pick number 1597. Man, that's that. <laughs> Got a little excited there seeing that one. All right. That Tony Womack on the Yankees. I like seeing some of these guys. Omar Vizquel and the Giants. Eh. I liked Omar Vizquel in his playing days. Oh, there's a very nice uh, Pujols Sporting News All Stars. Show you the back of that one. It's just a subset. It's not an it's not an insert, but still a fairly early Albert. I'll take that. How about that? The captain, Derek Jeter. Got to give Derek Jeter some some love over there. How about a Felix Hernandez prospect? Man, oh man, check it out. We are hitting some nice stuff here. 2005 Top Series 2 prospect card of King Felix Hernandez. Felix was such a beast for so many years. Such a beast for so many years. It's a shame with the problems that he was having that he couldn't keep that up. But he was, uh, I mean, here's Euclid, Mike Timlin. He was, I mean, he was well on his way to to the Hall of Fame. But that's there's another Jeter. Gold Glove winner from 2004. We got ourselves another Barry Bonds home run history card here. Home run number 268. We'll put that back there. Doug Davis. Jerry Hairston. Brad Lidge. And Brad Lidge, that home run he gave up to Pujols in the playoffs was, that was something. And it, I don't know. Kind of did him in. He was not the same guy. There's a nice Jeff Francoeur prospect card. Ty Wigginton. Willie Moe. Willie Moe Pena. Juan Pierre. There's 
speedster. Eric Gagne. We've got another Bonds home run history card here, number 59. A little bit uh, skinnier there for his 59th career home run than he was for a lot at the end of his career there. Matt Campbell draft pick. And Carl Everett. So... So far, I mean, it's been worth it. You know, we hit the Verlander, we hit the Verlander rookie. You know, I would like to be. As we got another gold coming up in here. I mean, just tons of gold. It's just awesome to have. You know, you go back when the production wasn't millions upon millions of cards. There's a nice Billy Butler rookie card, draft pick card. That's a cool one. Todd Helton, Jeff Bagwell, Hall of Famer there. Jacques Jones. We got ourselves another sweet checklist. Got a draft pick here of Jormond Bazardo, Derek Lowe, Craig Council, who is on the Diamondbacks there, is the manager of the Brewers right now. There's another uh, postseason highlights card of the Boston Red Sox. And we got a gold here of Randy Johnson. Very nice. Randy Johnson. Nearing the end of his career here with the Yankees. Check that out. Number 1130 of 2005. That's a not very nice one. I like that one quite a bit. It's a pretty cool one. Keep the golds a-coming. Keep the golds a-coming. See if we can find us a... Uh, we need that Verlander gold. But that Randy Johnson's pretty cool. There's a Carlos Beltran. Jermaine Dye. Chad Cordero. We got here Band of Brothers. We got Jerry Harrison Jr. and Scott Harrison. There's a Cardinals team set, 2004 World Series Cardinals, followed by the Cubs, followed by the A's, followed by the White Sox, and then followed by Scott Linebrink. So, huh. what do you know? Got the Cardinals and the Cubs right next to each other in that pack. How about, I got something yellow coming up in here. Maybe we got another, an insert of some sort. Let's check it out. Marcus Timms. Now there's the Ryan Webb, the base one. Joel Pinero. Jose Contreras. Todd Pratt. There's Armando Benitez. Russ Ortiz. There's Kenny Lofton. Kenny Lofton with the Phillies. That's crazy. Seeing that, look at his start of his career with the Astros back in 91. He's got rookie cards, 91 Upper Deck, 91 Don Russ. That's uh, Kenny Lofton. Kenny Lofton, pretty underrated player. I mean, he had a very nice, very nice career. I mean, check it out. Career batting average, 297. Stole 545 bases. I mean, he wasn't powerful. He didn't hit for a lot of power, but, I mean, 297 career batting average, over 2,000 hits. I mean, Kenny Lofton was he was a great player, very underrated. Oh, speaking of, man, I wish I love Jim Edmonds. I wish Jim Edmonds would have gotten some more Hall of Fame love, but not going to happen. Didn't happen. And here we got, well, we got the uh, hit parade here. We got the RBI leaders. We've got the Barry Bonds. That's a very nice looking card. We got the Palmero, <laughs> number two on that list. And then we also hit the Bonds. So that's uh, that's pretty nice. We'll put him back here. We still haven't, you know, we still haven't gotten anything that's going to top the, uh, it's going to top our uh, Justin Verlander draft pick, but. It's going to take something pretty big to top that one. Here's a Manny, Milton Bradley, Matt Morris, Mark Kotze. There's a draft pick of Michael Bourne. He's a decent player. Tony Armas, Jr. Jarrett Wright had a few nice years, mainly with the uh, Cleveland Indians. There's the Randy Johnson base. And then it looks like, ooh, there's another one. Hopefully gets into the Hall of Fame, Scott Rowland. Hopefully so. He's awesome, awesome player. 
Then we got another one of these Hit Parade cards here, and it is Sammy Sosa. So we've got RBI leaders, active career RBI leaders. We got number one, Bonds, number two, Palmero, and number three, Slammin' Sammy Sosa. Both Palmero and Sosa there, both on the Orioles, both have been rumored to... I don't know, maybe partake in some performance-enhancing drugs. I don't know. I just, just a rumor. I don't know if that's true or not. It's just, it's alleged. It's alleged. Gary Matthews Jr., there's Nomar Garcia Parra. Always thought he looked so weird in a Chicago Cubs uniform. But there he is. There's Nomar in a Cubs uniform. Got a gold cup here of Daniel Cabrera. David Bush, Kevin Folk, or yeah, Keith Folk. I said, said Kevin Folk for Joe Mays. There's Ray King. Here is a Chipper Jones Gold Glove winner for 2000, or Andrew Jones, I'm sorry. Andrew Jones. And we have a gold here. Oh, is that Brett Tomko? It is Brett Tomko, a Brett Tomko gold. 1137 out of 2005. So, I mean, this is cool. We got lots of golds. This is just a, a retail box. Now, if you buy a retail box of 2021 tops or 2022 tops, how many uh, how many golds you think you're going to get out of that? I mean, you're lucky to get a... Now you're lucky that you get a gold out of a hobby box. Here's your 2004 AL MVP, Vladdy Sr. Vladdy Sr., very nice Omar Infante. There's the Orioles. There's the Giants. There's the Devil Rays. And there's the Braves. So they really put those team cards, they really uh, stack them up. So I guess they figure, you know, if you're going to get one and be upset with one team card, you might as well get, uh, I think that's a Bonds insert. I think I saw it. And there's David Wells, Jeremy Burnett. So if you're going to get one team card, we might as well give you 17 of them all in a row. There we go. Check that out. Pedro Martinez. Pedro Martinez closing in on the end of his career there with the Mets. Pedro Hall of Fame pitcher right there. It's a very nice one. There's Pudge. Gold Glove winner on Detroit. There's Bonds. Check that out. His 24th career home run. 1987. He's awfully, awfully thin. Awfully thin in that picture. There we go. How about an Ichiro? Ichiro's rookie was 01. We got 05 here. So fairly early in his career. Ichiro. That's a cool one. And that's going to do it for that pack. We got how many do we have left over here? I think maybe six. Maybe six packs. So we got five packs left. We got five packs left to go here. Found the Verlander early on, a little bit off center, top to bottom. The top on the Verlander is just a touch, just a touch thinner. There's another draft pick here, Michael Rogers. Don't know much about Michael Rogers. How about a Ryan Howard and Cole Hamels? That is a pretty slick card right there. Ryan Howard and Cole Hamels. Uh, Two very nice players. There's a Tory Hunter that's flipped around backwards again for some reason. And we got Rangers, and we have Mets, and we have the Mariners, and we have the Rockies, and we have the Padres. I mean, geez Louise. I think, I don't know, but I may have the complete team set. I might just have the complete team set of the team cards. We got something... Might be another Bonds card here. Victor Zambrano. Here's Shea Hillenbrand. Kevin Millwood. Travis Lee. Corey Koski. Yep, we got a Bonds card coming up here. We got an award winner here, Vernon Wells. Gold Glove. And then we have Bonds career home run number 110. 
1990. Hit his 110th career home run in 1990. There we go. There's a sweet one. Ken Griffey Jr. with the seat with with the Seattle with the Cincinnati Reds. That is a cool picture. I don't care. It seems like every Ken Griffey Jr. card is cool. I don't care if he's on Seattle, if he's on Cincinnati, if he's you have one of those weird ones where he's in the Chicago White Sox uniform. Ken Griffey Jr. has an awesome smile. So Ramos Ramirez and Roy Oswalt and Joe Nathan, a couple of very nice players there. But yeah, any Griffey card, I mean, all of King Griffey Jr.'s cards are just cool. And that's just, there's not much else to say about it. All of his cards are cool. He just looks cool in all of his cards. He sucked Choi. Ricky Lede. It's a draft pick of Joe Neiman. Is that Tomo Oka. Vaguely remember them. Tim Hudson. Tim Hudson was an awesome pitcher. Greg Maddox was more awesome than Tim Hudson. And what is this? Alex Rodriguez. I guess Alex Rodriguez has his own set. This is a 1997 Tops. But you know, it says AR13 is the number. So I guess maybe... Uh, a Rod had his own uh, special, his own special little insert set. I don't know, but this is definitely the uh, the Royd box. We got A Rod and we got a bunch of Bonds cards back there, but I'll, yeah, it's not too bad. Take it. There's a very nice Jorge Posada. I like Jorge. I also like Mike Piazza, Hall of Famer. If you don't know Mike Piazza's story. That's something to check on, how, how he uh, made it into the, the major leagues. And a checklist. If you don't know how the story about Piazza making it into the major leagues, it's a pretty cool story. Go look it up. All right. No gold. Let's see if we're saving the magic for that last pack there. Chip Cannon. That's, a, that's Hideki Matsui. There's Godzilla. His rookie was 03, so very nice. Matt Suey. There's a Scott Rowland Sporting News, followed by Jim Edmonds. So a couple of Cardinals there. A couple of defensive, just absolutely defensive wizards. And J.D. Drew, former Cardinal. We're going to get us got a run of Sporting News All-Stars there. Chad Billingsley and Joel Guzman, prospect card. And how about another Sporting News? This time, Jason Bay. So we've got plenty of those. It's Lance Nix. Tony Graffinino. Austin Kearns. And that's another checklist. So that's going to take us to our last pack. Can we can we get lucky? Can we hit another Verlander? Let's at least get a gold. Let's just hope there's a gold in this pack and it'll give us some hope. Do we have any hope? There's no hope. At least for a gold. We do have another Upside Down World Series highlight card for some reason. There's your Cy Young Award winner from 04. Roger Clemens. Got another World Series card. This is the one I got the gold of back way back at the beginning of this video, 28 minutes and 38 seconds ago. There's Glenn Perkins. And the final card of the break after Jose Mesa is Sean Burnett. Sean Burnett. Don't remember really anything about Sean Burnett. So, was that a nice box? For a retail box, I'll take it, you know. Um, didn't hit anything, I wouldn't say huge, but I mean, we got several nice cards. I mean, those are those are cool. Those are cool. That Jeter card is one of the coolest flagship Jeter cards. That's just a really nice looking card. We did hit a second year Yachty. Will not ever complain about that. Second year Yachty, nice chipper. We've got several golds. Out of a retail box, we have five golds. The best being the uh, Randy Johnson. We got the big unit there. The gold. We got several Barry Bonds. We got the base. We got the league leader card. We got several of the home run, career home run cards. And we hit. A hit parade. 
so pretty nice. But the big one, the one we were looking for, and we got it, we hit it. The Justin Verlander rookie card, 2005 first year. Awesome looking card. Definitely uh, put that in my rookie collection with all my other ones. I think I have one of these, but it's always nice getting getting another one. I love it. So, hope you guys enjoyed that that flashback to 2005 Tops Series 2. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. I would truly appreciate it. And I promise you that I will catch you on the next one. We'll see you.